Hey everyone, I'm Katie from Addicted to DIY, and today I'm going to show you how I quickly and easily refinished this table using a paint sprayer. I built this narrow hall table a couple of years ago, and the color just wasn't doing it for me anymore. I decided to paint it a light gray color instead. The color I chose is called Repose Gray. It's a Sherwin-Williams color that I had color matched at Home Depot. Before getting started with paint, I prepped the table by sanding it down with a 220 grit sanding block. You don't have to take all the paint off, just scuff it up so the new paint has something to stick to. Once the sanding was done, I wiped the entire table down with a damp rag and let it dry. The paint sprayer I use is called the Finish Max Extra by Home Right. You can use any brand of paint sprayer, however I particularly love this one because I can use it without having to dilute my paint. It comes with different sizes of spray tips that you can change out depending on the viscosity of the finish you're using. Some paints that are extra thick will need a little bit of water to dilute them, but this particular paint that I chose didn't require any prep. I put on my safety glasses and mask, then plugged my sprayer in and got to work. When using a paint sprayer, be sure to hold it 6 to 12 inches away from the project you're painting. Using slow and steady passes, you'll achieve a nice, even coat. I set my sprayer to a vertical spray pattern when working side to side, and when working up and down, I use the horizontal pattern. The key to a great furniture finish is several light coats. Building on the coats allows you to have a smooth, even finish that will look amazing. Adding too much paint at one time can cause the paint to drip and will have to be touched up with a brush. I sprayed as much of the table as I could with it flipped upside down, letting it dry between coats. When spraying an already painted surface like this, you don't necessarily need to sand between coats. When spraying an unfinished wood piece, the water in the paint will raise the grain of the wood and create a rough surface. In that case, lightly sand your project with 220 or 320 grit sandpaper in between your thin coats. You don't need to sand on the final coat. Once the bottom portion of the table was painted and dry, I flipped it over to finish spraying the top and bottom shelves, plus hit any areas that I may have missed before. I used two coats of paint and then let it dry completely. The end result is a piece of furniture that looks brand new. It took me less than two hours from start to finish and I love how the new color looks. It's always amazing to see how just a few simple coats of paint can completely transform something. Thanks so much for watching this video today. For more how-to videos, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for more paint sprayer projects, make sure that you head to my blog, addicted2diy.com.